Alright, hello again everyone who might still be watching, and welcome to the... I guess I should wait a second actually. Alright, hi everyone, welcome to the Bishop Cage Match. Um, we're going to be playing just some games with just featuring the card Bishop, which is, we can see the lovely isotropic art right here. And <clears throat> Burning Skull has agreed to play with me. I don't know that I'm sure I've played him at some point, but I haven't played him a lot ever, I don't think. And he is a, I think, a. Pretty strong player. I don't. I don't really know, but I believe it. I look. His ISO rating is is uh, fairly good. Um, and I'm not sure if he plays in the league or not. But the um, anyway, he agreed to play with me, so I'm more than happy to play anybody who is interested in stepping into the cage match. So here, Bishop. Let's just take a look at this board. It really looks more like a rebuild board than anything else. Um, <laughs> I guess he's saying he's not a good player. I'm not sure. Anyway, he's a. Uh, uh, I think he's probably just a fine player. Um, whoops. I don't think Bishop is very good here, versus just a, a scavenger rebuild thing. So I'm gonna do that. We'll see how the bishop thing goes. <laughs> so I'll take a second scavenger here. It would have been really nice if he'd played the one by step. <laughs> Maybe it will be the bishop points that turn the tide in his favor. <clears throat> All we can do is hope that the bishop somehow makes the difference. So we'll just, I'm going to get the second rebuild and just hope that my overgrown estate isn't in hand here. Hopefully I draw copper when I trash the overgrown estate, and I'll probably buy a, a duchy then at that point. And then this will be a rebuild. I'm pretty far ahead. When I say pretty far ahead, I mean like really far ahead. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I guess altar. I don't know if there's time for altar here. I obviously skipped it, but. Deck, Steph, is it one? I'm reading the chat, everyone, just so you know, I'll answer questions if you have it. I, didn't, I wasn't really tracking my deck. But you're right, I did have a scavenger in there, so I knew there was a rebuild in there, but I forgot there was a scavenger in there. Um, I 
I may want to put a scavenger on top this time. Um, he just straight up bought a province. So the other, I can either put a rebuild on top and buy an estate. Um, what did I skip through? I already put a discard, so I just want to put a. Oh. Oh, I saw. I missed the rebuild. Oh, that's okay. This is pretty sloppy. Yeah, I missed the rebuild here. So. <laughs> And Steph is also pointing out that I just did duchy into duchy, which is especially boneheaded. Um. This is one of those games where you can play quite poorly and probably still come out with the victory. At least it's looking that way for me. Here. I'm just going to start I should have been killing provinces with that one even actually this is this is really badly played by me um, but I should be able to end it here or get close to ending it here So this is a game demonstrating how early luck is more important than playing intelligently. And uh, I got out to a big lead there, and despite making bad rebuild and scavenger choices throughout, it uh, worked out for me. Well, there's at least a village here, so. I didn't watch all of his play, so. <clears throat> this looks like a nice um, Horn of Plenty board if you can get enough hamlets and stuff. I think I'm going to open Hamlet Quarry. Um, is there anything to be said for opening Horn or Catacombs or Cartographer? I'm not seeing it, really. You can get... You can pick up Hamlets with the Horn of Plenty for sure. I think I want the Quarry. Then I'll take a Catacombs. Then you want a bunch of cartographers. And maybe actually I should have got a second quarry. It's not clear to me. 
think bishop is definitely good here. I say that bishop's okay here. <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to take all hamlets or if I want to take a bishop. I'm leaning towards the all hamlet thing. I don't think I want to play the catacombs. Well, I mean. I have a bunch of hamlets in here. There's nothing... I'm going to play the catacombs. There's not, like, that many great things in here that I'm worried about missing. But in general, I think I just want to go around. <laughs> hey, that was awful. Bishop might be wrong. But it's the bishop cage match, so I have to buy it some. He already has two catacombs. I haven't really been watching. I expect that the catacombs aren't going to run out, so I should be able to get them later. Steph is mentioning that the, a second quarry would have been quite a bit more useful, and I'm sure he's right, because um, I just had a lot of hamlets and buys and stuff, but the, uh, I'm just hoping by winning the hamlet split like that, that I just, eventually my deck can just do a lot more than his. We'll see if that pans out or not. They're also saboteur proof, which doesn't matter at all. He's got nice draws so far, though. Pretty nice. So I have a deck of twos, and he has some fives. The cartographer is really good. Here, I mean, there's not. Oh no. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that is the kind of thing I should have been going for. There, he has a somewhat dead turn. Probably this will just be some stupid three pile. Not a stupid three pile, but it'll likely end on three piles. <laughs> Steph says this is a nice cage match whoever buys bishop loses it might be true for a lot of these games
What does the extra buy get me here? Like nothing. Those will be worth. Three. I don't have six. <clears throat> Look, these points that you guys just wait and see. I'm going to win this off bishop points during a three pile it's gonna happen that's a nice catacombs reveal going all in on the bishops. I'm committed. Boo. Oh, I should have done it just off the chance that I drew the catacombs. Bishop is a really good card, and even, I mean, people say avoid it in the beginning of the game, and, you know, I agree with that in general, but uh, the points aren't negligible, um, even at the beginning, so... Well, there it happened again, and this time I didn't screw it up, so that's something. <clears throat> I probably should have tossed one of the hamlets, but... I may trash a catacombs for a quarry and then buy another catacombs. That works, right? It's not just actions.
Look at these bishop points, man. They're just... Whew. They're amazing. I guess conceivably I can pile out if I get two Corys and playing a lot of buys. Um, it seems like that would take quite a bit going for me here. Are you asking if he can or me, Steph? I don't think he can pile out. He doesn't have the buys. I have like seven Hamlets. Oh, me. Yeah, I, I think it's possible for me to. It's just not very likely. I'm not going to trash at this point. I mean, especially if he buys one of these guys. I'm going to have a really, uh, I think, a doable, yeah. Well, I don't have to get that many actions. I only need, uh, I mean, I don't need that much, right? I can toss away. Hamlets. Uh, well, I'm going to go for it in any case. See, this is already close to the money for it. <clears throat> um, I just need one copper at the end. I only need five buys because I have a horn. People. <clears throat> so this should do it as long as I draw money, right? I need three dollars. Oh no, I need like six dollars. I keep forgetting that maybe I can go for the bishops, right? Do no, that's not gonna work. That's stupid. Um. I keep thinking the quarries are going to make the catacombs free, or these things free, but they're not. They're a dollar. So I would need five dollars still. I need more than three dollars. I need five dollars. So, yeah, so I need a lot more money. Okay, so this seems not doable here, but actually. And I may have just given myself an awful shuffle. <clears throat> Whoops. I mean, this, he's not going to end it.
Oh, was I may have had enough with the silver. Did I have enough hamlets left at that point? Oh yeah. That could have won it, I think. I'm not sure. Would I have had enough after I discarded stuff? Would I have been able to have five dollars? I would have had silvers, but... I don't know if it was enough. Yeah, but but would that have been enough money still? Even with the silver, that's only four with the quarries. Anyways. <clears throat> so I would have been able to hold one of the coppers. Yeah, okay. So I just threw away a win, apparently. Anyway, I'm going to buy up. Oh, well, what am I going to buy? <sighs> Math is too hard. What should I buy? I don't even know why I bought that estate. Should I take a catacomb or another cartographer? How easily can he end it? He doesn't have a horn. He does have a gold, though. I'm not really sure. This could go his way pretty easily. Although he doesn't, his deck doesn't that, have that much stuff in it. Oh. And he had a dead turn anyway. So. Um. Oh no. Where are the seven hamlets? This is another dead turn after this, so he's got two turns in which to do something. I think he's listening, so I am telling him <laughs> strategic information. I 
can pile out these states by running the cat. We can get the quarries down to... Yeah, well he still doesn't have that much. I so here I had this silver. How big would my hand have been at that point? I guess big enough. Um, just rush the estates. I know he can use it, but it's not a big deal. I don't consider it a big deal. SCSN and I played a whole series where he could look at my hand. It didn't even help him that much. I think we lost that to the... To the Ravages of time. I think he didn't. Uh, I know I can't rush his dates. <laughs> I, uh. Corey doesn't lower the cost of estates. What? What kind of crap is this? I should have probably just got another Corey. I wish there was scout on this board, I would have piled those out. You can discard green stuff with, with Hamlet and then draw it right back up with scout. He should have enough for a province here, I would think. I hope he triggers a shuffle. I don't actually know how big it is, but... So I may not have a points lead after this turn. Yeah. So I can't really end it even unless I get a lot of stuff. But, uh... I played this really badly, actually. <laughs> I played it like really badly, <clears throat> which is kind of funny. So there's nothing to get out of here. I just want to draw the catacombs. I don't want to lose any of this stuff. I need five buys or a bishop play works too. Okay. Um, I guess we should stop and check that it's not automatic. I'll need four dollars or something. I need a lot of money. Oh wait, I have another Cory. Yeah. That was the whole point. And now I can just...
this should be the win. Right, I combine a state. Hooray. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Well, I kind of, uh, Play that really gross in the middle of the game, but I worked out in the end. I got the draw. I mean, I was pretty likely to be able to fish out the quarries just because of the cartographers and the catacombs, but I don't know who went first there. He went first in the first game because he bought that bishop. Why <laughs> make you win more fish? I needed the buy. Oh, I could have got two points in. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, you're right, Joseph. What was I thinking? All right, we have the uh, golden deck available here. <laughs> I don't know if it's better than actually building up a, a really powerful conspirator thing. Probably not. There aren't any attacks to do Chapel Squire with. Um, I have a hard time believing that the golem deck would beat a big market conspirator golem thing. Maybe you don't even need golems. Golems are kind of the only draw, quote draw here. Um, Anyway, I think you, um, I think you have to do the market conspirator thing. So how do you open for that? Um, you can open he five two is really nice if that's what he has. Um. I just don't know if you want to open armory is the thing I'm thinking about. You um How do you get to 5? You really need to get 5 once at least. I may pick up an armory later, but I'm going to open Silver Chapel. This is a good draw. I don't know if there's time for armory. You will run out of targets too pretty quickly. That's a really nice draw for him. I don't really like the counterfeit. The question is, is, <clears throat> is there time to detour for these things, like the, like the armory or the potion? I 
I mean, he'll get rid of his silver, I guess, with the counterfeit. But other than that, I don't know. It's okay. It's not the worst thing. I really don't think you want it. It's a dead card, though, and it has pretty limited use. He bought a Mandarin. Oh. No, I, I don't like that at all. I think that's totally wrong. A Mandarin is just a... It's like a double dead card. I don't I mean, I don't like it. It's, it's just silly. Did I trash the neck right now? So, any gold, yeah, I don't know. Um, so I'm just going to buy, or get an armory here. Start picking up conspirators. That's right, Steph. I apparently still have the Necropolis, although I did not know it. But it's good luck, nonetheless, that I have it. He bought a gold too last time, and that that looks not good at all. Um, he still has a chapel. Now he's getting a squire. That's the squire looks just completely awful. I'm gonna get the conspirator now, just because I like playing conspirators. It's fun. It's fun to play activated conspirators. Squire looks really awful, I think. I mean, I guess he wants to use it as a village so he can chapel as well. I don't, I don't know. He's going to fall way behind here. I mean, I Steph suggested a potion at some point. I mean, my deck is not... The size of it is not for a golem at least, is not going to do much for me. Um, right now, at least. But maybe here. I could have this dead turn. I draw a market. Oh, that's just, that's good enough. So do I want to gain a golem here at the very end? I think probably now. Seems reasonable. Do I want to chapel the silver yet? Hmm.
He got a bishop. It's the bishop cage match. I'm just going to try and buy the rest of the markets. And I would actually even take, if I have 15, I would take three markets over another golem. But then after that, I'd just do whatever. So I guess I'd play two of these and then the golem. I can play the armory whenever. I'm just going to get a conspirator. I can actually take a... Uh, bishop at some point. I guess if I wanted to. Um, I mean, not a bishop, but the... Armory ended up being really awesome for me. I guess I may have enough golems that I could take squires. I don't really see the point of it, but it's possible. Mandarins even make a little more sense than that, I think. Should I chop the necropolis? Not yet, I don't think. I probably can gain a squire with an armory and end it next turn. Depending on what he does exactly. I would need... 14, 19, I would need, to, well, that's probably more money than I have. I would need to get, uh, I am going to get a bishop now because why not? Oh, I put it on my deck. That was stupid. Uh, I meant to... Uh, of course, I'm an idiot. I meant to, of course, trash a potion. But I... screwed up. Anyways, I have enough points now to end it. So there's that. <laughs> right. This is 14, 19, okay. I can even take the estates, right? 16, 21, yeah, let's get the estates. Um, 
So that was a case where my opponent just put in two. I had to get the bishop. It's the bishop cage push. That was just a case where my opponent put in way too many non-essential cards. You know, the the focus here should be on the conspirators and the markets. Um, and these other cards just aren't. Uh, just aren't good enough there. The important thing is that a bishop has been bought in every game so far. That's all we need, really. This board looks like... Oh, I should start it. <clears throat> Has, have they just all been shelters game because I have the shelters thing clicked? Or have we actually been rolling shelters randomly? No, one of them was an estate game. Okay. So, uh, I, I guess you could do a golden deck here if you wanted to. It'll be pretty slow. I mean that the you kind of you want to get the caravans, so I'm gonna open workshop. Um, and and beyond that, the golden deck is reasonable but not incredible. It's swindler proof. Um, If you're truly golden. So you could... Mm. So a straight golden deck would open like Forge or Bishop, I think. That's going to take a long time to trash, actually. And I think it would lose to a deck that just got caravans and money. But... I think a deck that... Um, uses Bishop at some point seems reasonable. I think if you use straight golden deck, I mean, I think you'll lose to a caravan mass thing. Um, anyways, I'm gonna try some sort of weird hybrid thing. 5-2 is just so bad here. It's incredible how bad it is. <clears throat> We're going to see if we can maybe just skip Swindler, uh, which doesn't happen very often. I don't really know that that's correct, but we're going to try it. Boo. Does he have a bishop? No. So are we racing the golden deck here? We're gonna need some money to get the gold or something. It's vagrant, it's a pro. Pro vagrant.
My Vagrant, it's a pro too. We're going to do a super golden deck. Double bishops. Buys two gold. That sounds really hard to get to. <laughs> you know what I have is a bunch of bishop points. They're pretty awesome. I get a swindler. I mean, this looks like the slowest way ever of doing whatever I'm trying to do, but at this point, I think I will transition to a golden deck. So it looks like I built it in probably a pretty slow way. So I can get one Two, three, four, five. So I can't even get there yet. I'm not going to trash anything if he plays a bishop. <clears throat> Maybe I have enough money already to buy provinces. So I have I'm not really sure why I opted to boost the foragers since he has more of them, but that's okay. I'm just like a turn ahead here. Turn or more. I can start doing province. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I stuff's right. As he'll hear in a second, I agree with him totally. There was no real reason to to chop the I'm gonna split the caravans up here. Um so I 
I need another gold, don't I? One, two, one, two, three. Well, I should be good here just because of the points lead. This is like a slow, slow golden deck. I mean, I'm on turn 11, I haven't bought a province. So I'm going to buy 112 on. But like somebody playing with money here, with trashing help, I think could have just totally outraced me. I didn't... I didn't get thin very quickly, I just... So... I don't think he can make that much money. He can't really get stuff back. Yeah, that was his only chance to increasing his deck size. Oh, we're all tied up here. some point in here I'm going to have to just uh, what did he play to get the hmm oh he can't guarantee he drawing Shouldn't matter at all. I should really trash the Necropolis. It's not any better for me than... Why is buying expand strictly better? Just because it goes quicker? I mean, it can't be strictly. Just, there's no way the points thing works out that way. Do, 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 do. I don't know why I did the necropolis. Oh yeah, to save myself points. <clears throat> I 
I already did that. I don't know. If he buys it, he just loses. I guess I let him tie me? Yeah. I guess that's right, I should have gone expand. I assume he takes a tie. Huh. I guess there was a... I'm not sure if the expand can... I guess it can make up the points, definitely. Yeah, I should have gotten expanded. I could have won it for sure. I think. I don't know. Well, we got a good a good game featuring Bishop and where he died me. This looks like a good board for it as well. Just at a glance. We have shelters or yeah, we have estates. Um I guess I'm opening I guess I'm gonna open potion. Crossroads. Uh, there's. Uh, you can't smuggle the. These guys. I hope his loan reveals potion every time. There's not a big. I mean, what are you university? Unfortunately, there's not a lot of university targets. You can get one later on, but uh, it's not great. This should draw another cross, or another state, I mean. So I guess I'll take the loan here. Or maybe the silver. Hmm. We'll try alone. I'll take a nomad camp if I get to four. <clears throat> this is actually an okay shuffle to trigger anyway. Which I won't trigger it, but
I think you have to get noble somehow and, and King's Court <coughs> um, I am thinking about doing a second. He's already got a smugglers, which will be good when we go to the nomad camp or the nobles, I should say, if we get there. Um, hmm. So should I get a nomad camp or a silver? Or a smug I don't want a smugglers yet. I don't think people are gonna hit six. Um, I think I will want a second nomad camp at some point, so I'm gonna take it. Look at that. That's pretty weird hand to draw. I guess he wanted a nomad camp. What am I? What is my last card? It's an estate too, right? No, well, whatever. Hopefully I draw the loan and shuffle some more cards through. Anyways, this is pretty good too. So I can either Scrying Pool Nobles or King's Court. Let's try this one. <clears throat> Hope he doesn't get to his smugglers. Okay, he didn't get to his smugglers. Everything is right in the world. And let's hope I get to my smugglers, which I have a good shot at. And now I have like a guaranteed shot at, I think. <clears throat> so I can play two Nomad camps by Kings. No, 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 no. I'm gonna get this. So let's take the that guy. Take a scrying pool and a bishop. <clears throat> My deck is looking pretty sleek at this point. We're just gonna smuggle nomad. Maybe a second smugglers might have actually been better than the bishop at that point. Probably true. It's okay. Anyways. Oh, my poor scrying pool. Yeah, so smugglers might have been better than a bishop to get two nobles, assuming he gets a nobles. We assume he will at least smuggle one from me, but... We're getting this, we're gonna get the king's courts, Joseph. We just... It hasn't been time yet. This turn, it, it will almost certainly be time. So he didn't smuggle anything. He's just going to get a king's court, I expect. So 
so he didn't play smugglers. Okay, well, probably it's true, and I should have. Um, gotten whatever people are saying I should have gotten. Oh, that's unfortunate. I wish I had a What do I even buy? Smugglers? This last card is a crossroads, I think. I have two, right? No. Okay, here we go. Bought a scrying pool. I can't smuggle that. Oh, whoops. I discarded a copper for him on accident. Look at this, I can smuggle everything. If he ever moves on the nobles again, I can gain a whole bunch of them <clears throat> I would also take a whole bunch of bishops Most certainly. Okay. So I can either king and nobles and then get a bunch of bishops and bishop a million things. Or I can king a nomad camp. Well, in any case, I can get a bunch of things this way too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do it this way. I think I, I didn't really count out the money, but I think I probably should have kinged a nomad camp, apparently. This will teach us to count our money. Um, so I can either have 11 or 12, or 10 or 12. Oh, why'd I trash my potion? I could use that. I could get a university that could be useful for piling out. I should not have trashed the potion. I was not thinking 
That's really bad, actually. So, is there a way to get the potion back? I am playing these awfully sl sloppily. <coughs> Steph is <laughs> laughing at me. As well he might. So I am buying the potion back right away because I that was stupid. It's <laughs> just bad. <laughs> it's basically just getting a few points. I mean well, it was just bad. That's okay though. Hopefully he buys a noble sometimes, and then I'll be happy. Oh, <sighs> Quite ugly play from me. He's still gonna lose, but it was still bad play. For a very sloppy play. Okay. All right. Stupid of me. So do I want a triple? I should be able to end it this next turn. <clears throat> Assuming he, well, I should be able to end it. I think, maybe not. It's hardly guaranteed. So I can triple a lot of actions. <clears throat> a 
lot a lot. I this is enough to draw my deck too. Just these two scrying pools. Yeah, yeah. If he buys anything that's smuggleable, there's. I think it's over anyway. I mean, I think I can end next turn anyway. Um, by like kinging universities for nomad camps and then buying out crossroads, I think should do it pretty easily. Because I'll be able to king multiple nomad camps. And if he takes a king's court, then I can probably get those. Well, maybe that's a lot of money, actually. We'll see what he does. <sighs> that's true. It'll be a lot more exciting if he buys a few, you know. Colony's not going to cut it for him. Okay, so let's take a look at this. I can gain a million nomad camps. Three nomad camps, right? And then I just need eighteen dollars. So that's enough. All right. Oh, I should, oh, excuse me, I should just end it so he doesn't have to click through that stuff. Sorry, I shouldn't have played that bishop. I can't quite get the nobles, can I? I'm short the nobles on a dollar. Alright, thanks Burning Skull very much for playing. As I didn't have somebody to play against. So, I, I'm not sure if you misplayed it either. I didn't watch all of your buys carefully enough to track your deck all that well. I certainly got out ahead at the beginning and then... Yeah. So I, I don't know if you messed it up. Um, I've been playing Dominion now for about three hours. So three and a half hours. So I think I'm going to stop at this point. Although, if there's anybody who really wants to play a bishop game with me, I would play one more. If there's someone in the audience who wants to... who wants to play, I'll play one more bishop game. And then, otherwise, if there's no one in there who wants to...
All right, Steph's going to play one game with me. So we're going to play one bishop game. And that'll close off the cage match. I forgot to change, or did I remember? I forgot to change my Twitch uh, name, my, my show name. I was going to rename it to the uh, cage match, and I completely forgot. All right, well, the title of my thing has been incredibly inaccurate. Okay. Oh, we did. We rolled it. We rolled Bishop Fortress. Of course, we also have Upgrade Fortress, which is another thing. This is a pretty crazy board, actually. Well, anyways, I think you want to open Ironworks Silver. <clears throat> and uh, go from there. Maybe Silver Silver is a little better. I'm not exactly sure. He gets to five, which is pretty important. I can't take another uh, silver, really. Oh, I have to right now. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> so he's a bit ahead of me. The the embassy looks pretty reasonable too. You want to cycle I'm going to take a second upgrade first, but I'll take a embassy now. I don't know if the if the fortress if you do bishop and you get enough points, I don't know if you can really get the duchies. Um, all that quickly to end it. So we'll see. He's just going to keep getting, he might get a butcher, but probably just more upgrades. He really needs to get rid of his coppers. I say he, we, we both really need to get rid of our coppers, but yeah. There'll be some maneuvering for points here. Or he'll just be way ahead. That's also a possibility. <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to upgrade a fortress or a... Not my favorite draw ever.
that wasn't a great draw for him. <clears throat> this is hard. What like? What? I don't know how the fortress split went down actually, but uh, huh? Hmm. going for the pile control here I don't think you can actually end it just yet, but we're getting pretty close to the point where you can just chain ironworks. Although you need draw for that, but not that much. If you upgrade a bunch of uh, silvers. I don't know how many upgrades he has versus me. Next turn, he's just going to end it on embassies. Well, I have to buy points, but it's not going to be enough. Hmm. He'll probably take a province? Yeah. Yeah, so next turn, he'll just try and end it on embassies, but I'll be out of luck. most likely. Hmm, he's going for the duchies. I would think he would have an easier time getting the getting the embassies. But I guess the duchies really aren't very risky either. I guess if he doesn't ever draw a embassy his hand size doesn't increase so he jeez um okay uh so if i seems incredibly far-fetched, but if I play, if I get the duchies, gain a horn, and yeah, 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 it's not going to happen. We 
we should just go on with our lives. So what's my long shot? Him stalling for a turn? That doesn't seem likely. So if I go for the points play, well, let's just try it. <laughs> I did not get there. Okay then, so um, we gotta play this first. Oh, that's lucky. Just need to get a silver. Well, that was an exciting finish to the game. I somehow, <laughs> somehow got that. Um, so that was a nice uh, bishop game. Well, it wasn't really a good bishop game, but it was a good fortress game. <clears throat> So thanks everybody for watching, and thanks to Steph and Burning Skull for playing against me. So I will hopefully be back next week with another card. If any of you are interested in playing me, it'll be around the same time. Uh, or I'm flexible with the time, so if anybody wants to play, just send me a PM. I'd like to you try Hagler probably next. or But any Hagler, Hermit, Menagerie, there's any options are good. Um, so thanks again for watching. See you guys.